This is New Cap News with Anna Istanislaw. Good evening and thank you for joining us. They're coming off the shelves. The ban of flavored tobacco products across Alberta will start on June 1st next year. And as Anna Kanafe reports, it's a controversial decision that's been years in the making. And this was a decision that uh, was made in order to make sure that we got this through quickly and, uh, and dealt with what we felt were the most important ones. Honestly, it didn't really feel real because the three years was a long time, but this last year where we've been pushing so hard trying to get them to finally proclaim it. And most so locals are in and, support uh, of the ban. I quit smoking uh, when they banned it from the workplace and I didn't want to go home at lunch, so I'm sure glad they did that because I'm glad that I am done with the habit. Banning all tobacco would be a really good idea. Cancer rates are horrible. It's all, it's all people's opinion whether they want to smoke it or not. With the health care costs rising and the irrefutable proof of what tobacco leads to as far as uh, long-term health concerns and additional health care costs, I'm fully supportive of that ban. Issued earlier this week, the ban includes all tobacco products except menthols. Because adults use menthol, but the statistics say that 50% of youth that use flavored tobacco are using the menthol, and under 5% of adults are using the menthol. So it's clearly more the youth that are using this. Youth advocate Gianna Marin says traveling to the high schools and getting their support over the years through the Flavor Gone campaign was worth it. And she says many schools now have their own movements in place. So hopefully they'll continue on with the menthol campaign. And then, of course, I'll aid them wherever they need help. Continue this fight, and this is something that's going to benefit you and the future generations. The government is also prohibiting smoking in vehicles with children on board. Anna Kanafait, Newcap News. Yesterday, Newcap News sat down with newly elected Saskatchewan MLA Colleen Young after her win in the Lloydminster by-election, while we took to the streets to get residents' reactions. Compliments to Brad Wall for acting upon this vacancy so quickly. I feel it's very important that we have a full representation from all areas of Saskatchewan in our legislature. Colleen's a great speaker and a very nice person, so I'm happy that she won, and I think she'll do great for our region. She's going to be a great uh, representative for Lloyd Mincer. I couldn't vote because I'm from Alberta, but uh, I would have voted for her if, uh, if I could have. Colleen Young will be officially sworn into office on Monday in Regina.